Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, today we're going to be playing The Wolf Among Us. I uh, haven't played it in, a, in quite a bit of time. I'm interested to see uh, what choices I make this go around. I don't remember much of anything that happened in the actual episode, so this will be a good refresher. Starting fresh. Again, if you missed it, a uh, record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now. That humidity looks low, but remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. Mr. Toad? Shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I'll get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. Hmm. No need to kick up a fuss. Let's go enough excuses. I've heard enough of your excuses, Toad. This is unacceptable. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? Hmm. I'll say get it fixed. Then get it fixed. It's not complicated, Toad. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fuck you now. See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. So, what am I walking into exactly? A uh, woodsman's on another bender. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. This is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. Hmm. Let's see why he's so pissed. So what set him off? Who knows why it was this time. Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. Fuck you! I didn't know anyone else was up there. I'm so angry in this game. Furry prick of shite. Tell me how to stop mine. <laughs> yeah, the lights are 
Get a glamour, bro. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. Also, a douchebag. Pleasantly, knock. God damn you! No way! Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid? Yikes. Mm. Oh. Just trying to ease tensions. Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You've got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Oh, I'm okay. Oops. Forgot about these quick time events. Stop trying to cut me. Uh, R2. 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 Oh, goddamn. Oops. I'm getting my ass kicked. Not anymore. Guess not. Everyone is so angry in this game. Magical axe. Yikes. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting sick, bitch. Oh, Seems nice. Word one more time. What? Bitch? <laughs> Did I say? Mm, oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Let's Look, this see. Is the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. What are you doing here? These lips are sealed. Hmm. So why was he hitting, was he hitting you? Maybe you should ask him that. I will, but I asked you first. 
He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on. TX. My ribs. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. <laughs> but even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. <laughs> Tail moving around. Can we not fight so much? <laughs> Button mash X? How? <laughs> Come on. What are you doing? I'm just getting what he owes me. You all yeah, thief. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. Yeah. It's more from me. He'll be. I'll kill you, <laughs> you fucking bitch. Let me help you. He's had enough. He's a fable. Son of a bitch can take plenty. Can't let that keep going on. Uh, sure, we'll light the cigarette. Here. Thanks. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? Want you to tell me the truth? Yeah. Stop changing the subject. If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. Things change, I guess. I guess. Of 
course he ran away. Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. You sure? Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. That wasn't intentional. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, How much was it he owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty handed. I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Give her some money. That's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I... You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. Well, hopefully she doesn't get murdered. Because we gave her some money. Now, will I miss things in this playthrough? Probably. But, let's see uh, how this goes. Uh, how do I use that? Just go tap? X? No? Look at plaque. How does one look at plaque? Oh, okay. Let's around here just got oh, okay never mind come on out 
You ain't creeper. Anyone. I know this looks a little odd. A little bit. There's an explanation. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, you can't. Suspicious. Damn it, I'm late. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is. Uh, a lot easier. Do I stay out of it? Please. Promise me. I'm gonna stay out of it. Whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. So I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Want none of your drama? It's not what you might be thinking. Isn't. Great guard duty. Uh, what else? Hey, you wink. <laughs> nope. Mm, probably for the best. My catch needs to dust this guy. Ain't nothing gonna wake this guy up. Let's check some mail. Uh, Been a while since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. Anything else around here? Can I go over here? Nope. Alright, elevators we go. My wife? Have you seen Beauty? Okay. Uh, yeah. Mm, staying at this. Have you Still staying at this. Staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it! Something's going on. Why don't you come for me? I definitely avoided that question.
Oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. Got a smoke? Thanks. A couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has gotta stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? Yeah, I won't. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. That for me? Nope. <laughs> the house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Nice. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. Hey, I'm allowing you to stay. Everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. <laughs> but, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. My job. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. <laughs> Not going to Colin. But just you think my just say easy. You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Uh, there's a girl. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. <laughs> Leave me alone, Colin. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself, but I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't Just make sense. Just give me a drink, please. <laughs> Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I... Look, if I give you this, let me sleep. Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. I'll give him the drink. Thanks, Big B. Make my people happy.
You, sir, need a bed. Not a couch to sleep on. Just trying to rest. What happened now? No. What? Sorry, I'm. What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to. Hi. Hello. Good morning or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. That's not good. You knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Faith Town. Uh, should I say a prostate? Can't place her though. Working girl? It's a working girl. A working girl. A working girl? I don't I mean I'm a working girl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... Terrible. Let's say... Who found her? So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Alright, let's continue our search. R.I.P. Faith. Uh, let's see. Strange God. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. What's in her mouth? What is? Now yeah, her ribbon. Her ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Hmm. The ring attached. I don't recognize it. Neither do I. And she was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed mm -hmm. for us to find. Yep. What kind of monster would do this? That's what we're trying to find out. Blood trails. I'm, I'm 
sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what, what do you want to do next? Uh, investigate more. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Did see some blood over here. Let's investigate that. Anything else in this area? We got what is this? Fabric? Signs that it's been here long. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. What about the garbage can? I saw the blood there. Anything else? Let's move back. Attack the snow. Let's see if it's on the other side. Is the, what is this? Oh, not just me. Never mind. Okay, nothing there. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can't. How can we can move over here? Put it over there. Let's see. Nobody there. There's something like right here, but I can't get it. Unless that's nothing. Unless that's the tree trunk. Okay. Let's talk. Actually, let's. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Yeah. Sure. Just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her. Before anyone shows up, we'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? <laughs> um, I'll say someone just brought her here. I'm not entirely sure that. Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. Don't have much to go on right now. Signs of a struggle. But how do you know? Mmm, let's say blood on the fence. I found blood on the fence back there. Someone hopped over. Okay, good. That's solid. So, someone from the outside. Well, at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands. We don't know that yet. I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. Yeah, unfortunately. You know, you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Which you know he will. Crane's not what's important right now. 
We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Work here, stupid. Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Thanks. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. <laughs> Appreciate the sarcasm. Fucker. Love you too. Bringing this to me, Miss Snow, the one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. I'll we'll say no one to blame. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire... So you just want to hide it? Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. <laughs> I have half a mind to fire the both of them. That could be the woodsman. The woodsman is a person of interest. True. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. He seems nice. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Yeah. Well, They're not risk it. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Mm -hmm. Wanting to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... is he gone? <laughs> yes, thankfully. Thief. A little drunkard. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. <laughs> How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Mm. Oh, so I'm fine. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. A drunk librarian. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. And poke around. Hi, this is Snow White. Magic lamps. Hi. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps. That's what the genie's been afraid. 
but is there a genie inside? <laughs> I guess not. And there's a mirror there. Anything else I need to see? Uh, right Alright, I guess not. Let's talk to the mirror. Well, that's not what oh, I have here. there is something there. Look it again and get back to you. What is this? I'll be sure to let him know. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Look at all of them. That doesn't look good at all. At least we got a tarot card. A the genie. Alright. Let's go talk to the mirror. Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. <laughs> There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Hmm. We'll just go in order. We'll go for snow first. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Yep. Oops. Let's say. Let's Show say. me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. <laughs> All right, let's try a woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down the street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Strunkard. Show me the woodsman. Same thing. Not much to go on, and let's go. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. All right, I guess that's it. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else or someone new. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Let's go visit them. Oh, what is this? Too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. All right. Well, that wasn't helpful. Bird cage. Tarot cards again. Can't talk to anyone. What about this? What? I can't read any of this shit. 
I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Both good. Translate. Hmm. An exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Let's go... Oh, I do. Actually, yeah, I can't say. Let's check out these symbols. It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Mm -hmm. Not that symbol either, but this looks familiar. Yes, from the acts of the woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing. I only translate. That's what we looked at. What else is there? Ah, yes, the ring. There you go. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairairau? I'll go look it up. Alairairau. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> so rude. By the name Kate. <laughs> <laughs> so mean. The story of Donkey Pien. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. Gross. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty, and they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. You should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Mm, yeah, I can't rule him out. Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. Time for me. Actually, I was going to talk to Mira, but Many let's see what else is here. In our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Hmm. Me and him. The woodsman. Yep, and his axe. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Less said about that, the better. Really, happier days. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Beast. Colin and his brothers. Yeah, that's her, all right. Long time ago. Haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Nice hat. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Yeah, it's true. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Uh, is that all? Is there people here? I think so. Alright, let's back up. 
Can't talk to these guys. Let's go talk to the mirror again. I now know her name. It's Faith. Let's see if we can find anything out. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. <laughs> Which fable do you wish to know? Hmm. Go faith and go around. Show me. Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? Interesting. These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, but it's simply the way this has to be. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? It's what like he's life? dead. Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Uh, let's go face father. Faith's father, the old king. I guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Yeah, he did. All right. right now. Let's exit. Anything we can use? The hell I have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Let's go pay Lawrence a visit. Sorry, we have to get that. Hello, Woodlands Business Office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. Yeah, we gotta get over there. I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. Maybe we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. I'll say Toad's place first. He seems more immediately in trouble. If we have a choice. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Hey, let's go to Toad's apartment. Let's see what all that hubbub was about. That's what I said. Because from what it looked like, the prince seems dead already so I'm gonna go for the uh, the more immediate threat we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car you guys made a real mess yeah it looks worse in the day is somebody up there somebody's definitely up there I didn't want to spook them though Shit. I'm sorry. That's enough, all right? Just shut it. I don't even remember half of 
for this shit. Should probably get that fixed. Yeah, sorry for messing up your place. My bad. Anything else over here? Alright, uh, doesn't look like it. Let's get out. Aren't I always? Uh, let's see. Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big B. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh. I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. Liar. False alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. What's going on? What do you mean? Nothing's going on, Big B. I don't know what you mean. Truly. False alarm is all. Sorry. I call bullshit. Are you all right? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So I guess you'll be taken off now. No. You need to hang around here anymore. No, I will not. I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. Hmm. Nothing. I'm not grand. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm going to look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes, so just stand over there and shut up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? <laughs> Awkward. Petra said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Nerds. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. All right, let's look for some clues. This happened. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing sods and salt fish. Who knows with the lad? Sure, 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 sure. I'll need to get a dustpan one of these days. Look around. Don't have anything yet. And some blood. You bleeding? Why? You say it's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I'll cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a rap. Must have got some on furnishment. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Hooks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. What else is there? Mm -mm -mm. Search. Oh. 
What do we have? You know what happened, I... There's marks here on the window, so... And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Just lying through your teeth, so... Miss this? And what happened here? The poker? What of it? There's more blood on the tip. Did this happen before or after you came in the window? After, after. Oh, I was, I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Hmm, I say it's a way. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. God, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I yeah. A little accident. I think you're hiding. Hiding something? Maybe. No. To tell you the truth, I don't know yet. Know you're lying about something, but I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you, honest. We'll see. That more blood? No, just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Ah, oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something. I mean, or not. The lamp that was there. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? Are you the tap water running? Did you stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Yeah, I'll see the power outlet. Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you- It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And did not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? Always lying, dude. Though most people think they are. Uh huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset though earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. Oh, it's busted latch. Why is the lock busted? Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. A spot of dust and a broken lock. What are you getting at, mate? Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Rotted just like everything else in this bloody building. I think we, yeah. Yeah, it's busted. The one climbed the window. Why'd you climb in through the window then? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You 
you said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot the fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please, just bugger off? Not yet. Yeah. No. Not yet? You say to my face that you think I'm hiding something from you. Absolutely. Out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here in my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad? Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Let's see, lied. Me in. I broke the lamp. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad. You're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a twiddle, thumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning. That's what I was looking for. for. I have no idea. I would have told him. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes. Borrows. I don't stay on that thing. Indefinitely borrows. Would astonish you, mate. You are merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Definitely our donkey girl. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Mm. Don't make it a dilemma. Mm, I'm gonna open it. Could be a clue. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Later, little homie. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is. Yeah, it's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way.
don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wait a question. Bump him up on the suspect list or cross him off entirely. Okay. What is it? I just... I just don't think he did it. In cases like these, isn't it usually the husband? For Mondays, maybe. But this is different. Yeah, he looked dead. Can you hear me? All right, let's go in. Just peep into someone's house. Check if he's home. Can you hear me? Yes, he's not our suspect anymore. Oh my god. Oh, maybe it's uh it's not okay, it's not. I'll stay with you. Get his water stat. Yeah. Oh, what does that say? Pay the rent next week. Pizza in the fridge. Please don't look for me. Goodbye, face. Yeah, I'm coming. It's reading notes. Hmm, let's see who did this to you. I don't know if you think Faith did it to him, or just saying his last words. Plenty of clues to look for. Let us search. Let's go in detective mode. Let's see. Dagger. 
mirror shows me this. Maybe I should have come here first. It's sharp. There's blood on the blade. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Doesn't really help. <laughs> Oops. What is it? Gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. Is the caliber of the gun on the floor. Let's get all the evidence we can. Little pills. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Anything else on the floor? No. Okay. We'll go over here. Why do you think that was taken? Before all this. Okay, I looked through everything. There's still that door, that panel. Something over here. A lot of blood. All right, let's check this panel. Son of a... What is that? You and I cannot endure knowing that I have. If this was for the best, I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. Hopefully, they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. Um, let it to the corner. We've already seen the bullet hole, but do it again. Okay, I think we're good, unless there's anything else over here. I don't think there is. No, I think we're good. It's over here. Secondhand paperbacks. Old encyclopedias. Dusty. No one's read these in a while. Anything over here? I know there's the note. Water, the note. What's up top? Okay, nothing. Last area is closet. Maybe there might be someone in here. We'll see. Oh yeah. Stay here. No. It's hiding this whole time. Hey, stop. Leave me alone. Let's 
quick time events. Uh, over here. Yeah, I see him. I see him. Yeah, he almost did give me a slip. Ow. I see him. Drop right on him. Ease up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Who are you? What? Who are you? Listen, man. I'm a private investigator. A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Bullshit. You're covered in blood. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions too. Hmm. I'll say who's your boss. Employer. I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Huh. Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> Yikes. That smacked in the back of the head. He almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. What happened? Well, the one guy hit you, then the other one started kicking you. <laughs> Springs of ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. It's uh, some more. Maybe the pimp Faith was in trouble. Afraid of someone. I need to find out who it might be whoever she was working for. There's still a lot of questions. We find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, and go from there. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. I don't think it was the woodsman. Uh, plus, we don't really have any information on Bluebeard. So I'm not going to name him as suspect. At least not yet. There's nothing to go on. Hmm. I'll say thanks for having
Ocean. Uh, never mind. Wasn't important. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, it's... It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to prostitution. I, I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just the broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. Yeah, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah. Maybe I should. All these shady characters. Bigby. I um, just be careful, please. The same goes for you. I will. Chip trap bar. Hey again, I don't think it was the woodsman. Obviously, he's involved, but I don't think he was the one who killed her. What do you want, Sheriff? I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd pop in and say hello. Well, fucking hello. Now you can get the fuck out of here. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know, but he yeah, weeks my ass in a while if he's been here at all, which I don't know. <laughs> I'd just like some help, and I'll be out of here. Well, I'd be willing to help you out of here. Would that help? No, not at all. A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. Huh. You'll get a refund? Fuck you. The word's getting out. You're 
regular? I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. Can't miss him. Whose is that? Someone who left. Someone like the guy I'm looking for? No, I'm telling you. I haven't seen him for a couple days. Yeah, kind of gave all my money. Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. I agree. I agree, Bixby. That's gross. A lot of stools in this place. You got a problem, friend? I don't like you, and now you're sitting right next to me. You could ask me to move. You're gonna order something, or are you just here to bother my customers? Here's a whole customers. You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a wine? Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. Hmm. <laughs> that's it. Serious, Holly. Harboring a fugitive is going to get you in as much trouble as he's in. You could lose everything. Hey, we meet again. Number one or number two? For your sake, uh, I hope it was two. Otherwise, you're probably shitting your pants right now. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. I just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Yeah, it's not up for you to say. Punk. It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you, Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> well, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. <laughs> that, huh? Come on, Woody. Do you know why I'm here? Do you want to know what happened? Amongst other things, sure. <laughs> it's funny. The shit you're willing to do for money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I 
finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. So, you were planning on robbing her? Yeah, her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood, her grandmother. I was there to rob them. But when I showed up, you were already there, lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> a lot of good that did. Did you kill Faith? What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead? Bigby, listen, I, I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Bigby. Please, you can't. They'll throw me down the witching well, that's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Yeah, I don't think he did it. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want! Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. Not this fucking lapdog. When he comes sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Bigby? It's not like that. There are problems with the way things go, I get it. But that's got nothing to do with what's happening right now. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. Anyone tell you you got a big fucking mouth? Oh, it gets bigger. Oh, good. Oh. Oh, okay. You should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. You want to help me, Woodsman? Oh, it's gonna be a bro. <laughs> Slightly tops him. Around the other eye. This does not look good for Bigsby. And now I got some pairs. Oh, oh. Damn these quick time events. Gotta use everything to our advantage. 
Has he? Has he though? Yeah. Fine. I'll walk away. I'll show everyone I'm not the big bad wolf. <laughs> Is this the yeah. type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? No. No. If you come quietly, you'll be treated with respect. But if it turns out that you killed that girl, well, you know what that means. What now? For the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. He clearly cannot read the room. Ah. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna go after the woodsman. Hopefully he knows something. You said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. Shit. Guy's covered in blood and you let him go? No one asked you. Come on. You're under arrest. I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. I know he didn't do it, but I'm hoping he can give me some answers. Maybe I should have gone after the other guy. Maybe. Do anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. All right. Something else happened, I guess. Who else got murdered? As you know, there's a murder. Oh, it's not snow. That would suck. Some very slow cops. Of course. Damn it. That sucks. Well, until the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will catch you guys later. Take care.